What's up, everybody? Welcome, Squad Squad. Welcome to Slav Guns on Tour. This is day one of SHOT Show 2024, and we are here at a booth that is probably out of year in and year out out of SHOT Show. This is the most popular booth by far all the time, and that's Palmetto State Armory. So PSA, I'm joined here by Matt. I will say thank you, Matt. Thank you, everybody at the company for making firearms that are fun and affordable, not just attainable, but truly affordable for gun owners. So what I love about PSA is every year there's something new and exciting. Um, I'm holding one thing that's new, fun, and exciting, and there's a bunch of things new, fun, and exciting. So walk us through us, starting with this. All right, so this is our uh, Olkin. So um, it's an extension on our Jackal line. For those of you who are not familiar, um, our Jackal line is our uh, monolithic uppers, basically. It fits on any standard AR-15 lower. Um, it is a long stroke, piston-driven system, non-reciprocating side charging handle that is also ambidextrous. Is tool toolless change from one side to the other. Okay. Um, all of them come with an adjustable gas block for any kind of suppressors or ammo combinations you want to do. Um, we started out doing you know 556 and 300 blackout, and they have sold really well. They've been very popular, they've been very good guns, very reliable guns, and you know, it's only natural that we continue to uh, to increase our product offering in the yep. Jackal. Okay. Um, so the Olkin's kind of a cool one. Um, every good gun has got to have a bullpup version of it, and that's exactly what this is. So the bullpup lower will fit any Jackal upper. Um, any upper you have will snap right on top of it. Uh, it does have ambidextrous magazine release. Um, it takes fire control groups for any AR, especially, or including uh, pistol grip. Okay. Um, it's just a really cool gun, man. So I think it's going to be a really popular concept gun for us. So what's kind of like, for, for people who have used regular jackals, what's kind of like the case use for a bullpup? Like, is there is there a target buyer in, sight, in mind for it, or is it just primarily all fun? Well, you know, a bullpup shortens, you know, the gun. It makes it a little bit more compact, a little bit easier to stow away in different places. Uh, but really, it makes it different. You know, uh, we have a market right now that's completely saturated with AR-15s. Everybody's making the same thing. And uh, we're trying to strive to make something that's fun and different and okay. reliable. And what calibers is this going to be available with? And what's the price point that you're targeting? So right now, um, this particular gun is chambered in 5.56. Five, but as far as uh, target price, right now this is a concept gun. Okay. Um, so it doesn't mean that it's not being worked on it, but we've brought a bunch of concept guns to yeah. show. Um, and, you know, we like to say we can do anything, but we can't do everything. So we've brought all of our concept guns that are in the works, and we've actually put a poll on our website. Okay. Um, so what we want is for our customers who are watching, you know, some of these videos, seeing what we brought to SHOT Show to go online, and okay. they're actually able to vote to show what they would like us to work on the most. Then go through, pick their top three guns, and that's how we're going to prioritize what we work on in 2024. Awesome. So to be completely transparent, this is not something that's production gun. This is something. Hey, this this is what we have. This is what we have to offer. Are you guys interested in it? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So that's the bull pop, and I see that guy, almost like a little baby scar-looking thing. Uh, walk us through that. What is it? Yep. So this is our 308 Jackal. Um, it's built off the same jackal premise, long, uh, the long stroke piston. Um, we changed it up a little bit. Obviously, some of the parts have to get bigger to handle the larger round. Okay. New extrusions for both the handguard and the upper, but it keeps the same kind of style and the yeah. same sole as the jackal. Um, this particular one is a 13.5 pin and weld. Okay. Uh, it comes with an eight position adjustable gas block, uh, collapsible stock, and uh, it's a really good gun. It's something I'm personally very excited about seeing in the market. Okay. Now, is this going to be something that's almost like a battle rifle? Is it something that someone's going to be able to go out to the range and shoot, let's say, 600 yards or 1,000 yards or more? Yeah, all of the above, man. Um, okay. So we're, we're trying some new things on this gun to try to uh, enhance accuracy, okay. uh, especially with it being a 308. Uh, some of the stuff we can't exactly talk about right now on camera, but uh, okay. we, are, we are very anxious to see if some of the new things that we're trying are going to increase accuracy in the rifle. Um, so. Cool. And it, we're in the process of this gun. Is it, gonna be, is it almost at the same time as the bullpup? Is it in a pre concept stage? Or is this something that's going to be probably for sale in the near future? So the 308 is definitely a lot further along than the bullpup. Okay. Um, we do have you know, uh, 
firearms that are assembled and, and ready for testing. Um, but we are still kind of counting it as a concept gun. We're still kind of putting it on that same pole and trying to figure out, hey, is this what people yeah. want to see? Um, but definitely something that, you know, if it is listed as a priority in 2024, will come out you know, significantly earlier. Awesome. So two super cool guns. I know the Jack Align people, the branding is awesome. The guns are awesome. So hopefully these will be out. So go vote not only with your voice, but your wallet as well. Palmetto State Armory. Um, is information on both of these guns on the website? Is it going to be? Uh, currently, these are not listed okay. on the website. They will only be on the poll. Awesome. So they're on the poll. Go vote. As always, thank you guys for watching. Matt, thank you for taking the time and sharing these guns with us. Um, let me know what you guys think, how excited are you about these, and go from there. As always, thank you for watching. Keep on squatting, and we'll see you in the next video linked up here.